What is going on everybody? I am back with another Pokemon X and Y video. Um, last night I decided to change a few things with my team a little bit. Um, like I said before in a different video, the Greninja that I was currently using, it was my starter Greninja, so it didn't have any, um, any of the IVs that I actually wanted. And also I changed up uh, the Heliolus that I was using before. Uh, it was an adamant nature, and I wanted it to be especially a special attacker because that's what it was made for. So, uh, here's the uh, new Greninja now that I'm using. It also has a Pokerius. Somebody traded with me last night, and then I uh, got Pokerius. So, this is my new IV bred and EV trained um, Battletoad. I EV trained it in special attack speed uh, and HP, and um, a few special defense as well. It is a hasty nature that's up special attack minus defense and it is holding the life orb just like the old one except this uh, Greninja now has ice beam and dark pulse so that is a different set now this is my new Heliosk here the last Heliosk was a adamant nature and I did not like that I just like the fact that it had perfect IVs and attack special attack and speed so uh, as you can see the special attack is definitely um, a big drastic change here between the one that I am using now and the one I was using before so, I also uh, EV trained it in speed and a few in defense and a few in attack, but um, the only perfect IVs it has is in special defense, which isn't bad because um, it is a specially defensive um, Pokemon, so uh, that are those are the changes that I did last night. Also, I wanted to show you guys a live battle here today, so hopefully if I can find a good live battle, uh, I will... Put it up in this video hopefully i can find one soon i don't get too much luck with the uh random passive buyers but i'm going to try my best so i will see you guys in a few minutes all right guys i finally found a battle that didn't take too long but um hopefully this is a better battle than i had before uh sometimes you don't get as lucky with these so let's see all right see we got a decent team now good now hmm we'll see what we can do i usually lead off with my garchomp as my it's a pretty good lead because it's really bulky and it's a dragon type, but I also see that he has a Garchomp. So, in this situation, I look at the rest, um, the rest of the Pokemon that he has, and I deter decide from there. So he also has a Greninja and um, a Gengar. I'm really nervous about that Gengar, actually. So, but um, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. But, if I'm not too sure, I usually just lead off with my Garchomp anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with my Garchomp. It's my strong lead. So hopefully I get a good battle go uh, for you guys today. We will find out. Turn up the volume a little bit. Get the jams going. Mm, this is like the best song. I don't know why this song is so good. It's just so good. Alright, so this is against Mark. Mark, you're being live. Ba uh, li uh, you are being battled live right now so he is going to start off with his vile plume interesting um i am going to go for the sandstorm i usually just go straight for the sandstorm i'm not sure really sure what this vile plume is going to do uh i might just go for the grass move oh no it goes for dazzling Green. i actually didn't even know vile plume got that move so okay hmm I don't know, I don't have much to switch into a Dazzling Gleam, so I think I'm going to stay in and hit it up with a Dragon Claw. I want to. I just want to see how much this is going to do. But, um, if I get lucky, the Sand Vial will help me. Wow, that actually did a lot. So I'm going to be able to live this Dazzling Gleam and take it out next turn. Ooh, that was really close, though. So I'm going to be able to take this thing out next turn. Either way, so... Bye, have a great time! <sighs> And my Garchomp is still alive. Also, my Garchomp is holding the Smooth Rock, so Sandstorm will last. I don't know how many turns it makes it last longer, but usually I think weather only lasts five turns, if I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it only lasts five turns, but with, um, with the Smooth Rock, I know it will last longer. Okay, so he sends out his Greninja. Not too sure if I'm faster than this thing, but I don't think I'm going to need my Sanderson later, so I'm going to leave it out and let it die as death fodder just so i can have a comfortable switch in 
Oh, he has a Protean Greninja. This man's got all kinds of good Pokemon, all kinds of threats on here. Okay, so down goes by Sanderson. He did his work. Um, I can take Ice Beams with my Speedy all day, plus it is an electric type, so I'm going to switch into Speedy here, um, and I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, but uh, I don't think he has any comfortable uh, Pokemon switch. Oh, besides his Garchomp, so he might switch into his Garchomp. If he does, I'm going to have to switch out. Mm, I don't know if this man's smart enough. But we'll just see. I'll go ahead and Thunderbolt. If he switches into his Garchomp, then he predicts me. He's had more battles than me. That's that's interesting. So, no, he stayed in. And I can take... Oh, ha <laughs> with the Sand Vile Dodge. My friends, the Sand Vile Dodge is putting in work. Uh, this Greninja is faster than me, but now it is a Psychic type, and I do have the Dark Pulse, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit this man up with a Dark Pulse, but I... I'm also dodging extra sensories all day. Dodging extra sensories with the sand veal. I really like the sand veal combo with the guard chop and the sandstorm. It's just fantastic. It works out for me so well. And I'm pretty glad that you guys get to see this live too. So I'm not sure if his guard chomp has it or not, but I am gonna switch out of here. I don't want to do not want to get hit with an earthquake. I'm gonna switch into my You Mad Bro. Because um, if he go, if he does go for the earthquake like I'm predicting, he will miss, and uh, you mad bro can take hits all day. And this ends up being his mega evolution, so mega Garchomp. Yeah, and I'm a little nervous here. Oh, he goes for the Dragon Claw. Mm, but my um, Drift Plum can take hits all day. But I will not be able to live another Dragon Claw. I'm not really sure if I'm faster than him or not. I would like to get the Will O Wisp off him though. Let's see. And I don't have a comfortable switch in. I am pretty... I don't know if Garchomp gets any speed. Extra, extra added speed when he Mega Evolves. I'm not too sure. Mm, I'm just going to try my luck with the Will-O-Wisp if he's faster. Yeah, he is faster. That is unfortunate for me. So... But I will get him with the Aftermath. Which is not bad. Not bad. So now I'm down one Mon... I am going to switch into my uh, Battle Toad here because I do have the Ice Beam and that Ice Beam will take it out no problem. But I might, I don't know, he, he's not really predicting any good moves right now. If I was him, I would have switched out because Greninjas do run Ice Beams. He had his running with Ice Beam, if I wasn't mistaken, if he just used it. I'm pretty sure he just did, so. Okay, yep, <laughs> now he knows. He probably knows that the Ice Beam is coming. And there it is. Blaziken coming in to take the Ice Beam. I should have used Hydro Pump, but that's not a big deal. So that is not going to touch this thing at all. But I am specially, um, uh, specially attacked with the Life Orb. Will take a bit of damage away from me. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump now. I have yet to miss a Hydro Pump uh, in live battle. So this is going to take this Blaziken out, no problem. Goodbye. You are not living a Hydro Pump from a Greninja. Especially not my Battletoad, son. So, down goes his Blaziken left. The, the Pokemon he left has left, I believe, is that Garchomp. Um, I usually write this down. That's maybe why I win these battles so often. But I didn't write it down I, this time. So, I guess he's going to go in with his Farfetch'd. Not too really sure why they run a lot of Farfetch'd. But my um, Battletoad is full speed IV. So, this thing is going to go down instantly with a Ice Beam. Get up out! Who do you think you are? Switching in with the Farfetch, man. I just took you out with an Ice Beam. I revealed I had it. I don't know. So, he's going to switch into his Gengar now. I don't know how fast that thing is, but I know I am decently fast enough, so I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. He probably won't know to, uh, won't see this coming. And I don't know if I'll be able to take it out in one shot, but if I do, then this Greninja is putting in work. <laughs> I'm putting in work with Battletoad right now. Oh my lord. This is exactly why I wanted to um, switch up this Battletoad. This Battletoad is much better. Much, 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 much better in special attack. It's only um, in special attack. The other one I had, the other set I had, also had attack on it. 
and this one is putting in work as you can see so I'm going to use the ice beam and there's no way he's living this so I just sweep this man's team with my battle toad very unfortunate for him but he also did not um, make the very best moves usually when I win battles I I just so happen to make the better move so yeah uh, I won 4-0 against Mark uh, Mark, thank you for the battle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save that, but since this is a live battle You guys have already seen it. So yeah, now that you guys have seen my team live um, Pretty good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace